the island talk about uh, the tomato uh, SNE chips. Uh, using the, the SNE chip, uh, <coughs> the, we will generate the, the last uh, SNE uh, data set. Uh, the that uh, <coughs> SNE uh, data set, uh, you can do the many analysis. So in my presentation, I will uh, talk about the three the computer program for the downstream the analysis with the SNE markers. Uh, I break the, my the presentation into the two parts. In the first part, uh, I will introduce um, the three <coughs> the computer program, MSA, GDT, and structure by addressing the basic the information, the what can you do using the program, where can you get them, and uh, how can you format the input data. After that, uh, in the second part, uh, I will talk about the structure more, uh, especially the how to generate the two metrics uh, for the association mapping. The microsatellite ana uh, analyzer, the MSA, uh, was the originally designed uh, to handle the large the microsatellite the data set, but can be used for other type of the marker, including the SNP. This program calculates several useful statistics uh, for um, generic analysis. For example, you can calculate descriptive the statistics, including analytic richness, heterozygosity, and Shannon index of the diversity. Also, 3F statistics, uh, <clears throat> including FSD, FIS, FIT, are calculated based on the where and cocom the method. For FSD per locus and the population pair, the p-value is given based on permutation test. This program implements the several the method to calculate genetic distance, including the maze, the standard uh, genetic distance. You can use uh, this program to convert the your data for other the genetic analysis the program, like the gene path structure. Uh, and allocate. Currently, uh, <clears throat> the version 4.5 uh, is available for the Windows, Linux, and Mac. You can download this program from the, this the URL. But uh, if you don't like to type the, this long the string, then simply go to the Google and type the microsatellite analyzer in search bar then the, you can find uh, the MSA the download. At the MSA the website, uh, <coughs> you can see the several icons for uh, the OS. Uh, just pick the one of them uh, corresponding to the, your the, the computer, then uh, click it. Then the, uh, the download will start. Most of the genetic analysis, the program require input data in their specific uh, the format. For MSA, the, you can have the, your mark data in one or the two column format. In one column format, two alleles of the diploid species lay out vertically in two consecutive the row. But in Two column format, uh, the two alleles lay out horizontally in the two consecutive the column. <clears throat> and actually, the 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 lab, the, there is the example of the one column format. For both option, you need the three the column for the name of the population and the mating type and number of the group number of the population. Uh, don't leave any single cell empty in these the three columns. For mating type, the specify inbred or outbred for your species. MSA doesn't like the, the letter coding, so if you score your SNP the marker data using ATCG, you need to convert uh, that letter coding to numeratical coding. 
The missing data can be indicated by the several ways, including the negative one. Finally, save the URL uh, data <coughs> as the text uh, delimited. Here is an example of the MSA the analysis for um, the, our study. The FST uh, can be used to identify the loci uh, that distinguish the population. Uh, for example, the FST the value 0 uh, indicate the fixation of the uh, gene or gene under uh, balancing selection. And the FST value 1 uh, means the gene is under diversifying selection. Using the MSA the program, the we calculate FST at each of 173 the loci uh, in the pairwise the comparison among three tomato groups processing, fresh market, and vintage. From that calculation, the, we identify uh, a number of the loci uh, with the fairly high the FST the value, uh, which, the, which is greater than point, uh, point 0.4. Those loci uh, are, um, could be the responsible for the genetic differentiation between uh, three the tomato groups. The next uh, the program I like to introduce is uh, GDT. The, this the program uh, was designed as a tool for representing the molecular marker data by graphical representation and color coding of chromosomes. This program is uh, useful to evaluate the, your plant material and select a desired the genotype. You can also use the, this program for advanced the genetic analysis, including marker trait association, genetic distance, and the linkage disequilibrium. Current version of the, this program is a 2.0, and only uh, the window version is available at uh, <clears throat> this website. You can find the GGT website from the Google by typing the genotyping, the graphical uh, genotype in Google search bar. Here is uh, the GGT website and uh, to download the, this program, go to the here uh, I highlight. The GDT program requires two data files derived from locus and map data. The locus file uh, contains the data on the marker early using the map maker or the join map types of the coding. And it's a plain text file. Here's an example of the locus file uh, generated by using the join map the program. The map file specifies uh, the marker position on a linkage map. It's also a plain text file. Here's a map file uh, generated by the, <coughs> the join map program. If we have the if you have the physical the location of the marker, the, you can create uh, the map the map file based on that information. Once you prepare the locus and the map file, the, you can build uh, GDT input, uh, input data by merging them uh, in the GDT program. The GDT input file can also be prepared from the Excel spreadsheet. Here is the Excel spreadsheet uh, for the GDT uh, input data. So basically, the, the second column, the, you can see the map, the position, the map information of the marker, and then the, your, the locus, I'm sorry, your marker data uh, are here. We use the GDT the program for graphical genotyping of our tomato collection. The, only the two chromosomes uh, are shown here. On the chromosome 5, 
uh, we identify several recombinant of the vintage the varieties. We also found um, the second half of the chromosome 6 showed the low genetic variation between variety except the wild species here. The last program is the structure. So this program implements a model-based clustering method for inferring population structure using multiple uh, multi-locus genotype data. You can also generate the Q matrix to correct for population subdivision during the marker trait association analysis in complex uh, population like the breeding population. Additional benefit of the, this program is to identify migrant and admix individual. Currently, version uh, 2.3.3 is available for the three OS platform at the, <coughs> this website. Uh, from the Google to find the, this, the, the program, so to download the program, the type of structure in the search bar, then you will find the, uh, the hit the software for the inferring the population structure. This is the, the website uh, for downloading the program. At the structure website, uh, go to download the structure uh, program the, here that I highlight. The structure input the data is a matrix the where the data for individuals are in row and then the row side are in column. In details, uh, and consecutive the row have the data for each individual of employed the species. Like the MSA, the structure doesn't accept the any the letter coding. So you should have the the numerical the coding for SNIM marker. Missing data can be indicated by a number which doesn't occur any place in your data set. Uh, finally, the save the, your input data as text, uh, the text file. Uh, in the first the part of the, <coughs> the presentation, uh, we learn the uh, general, I'm sorry, we learn uh, the, there are the three the powerful the program for the uh, genetic analysis with the SNP data generated uh, by the, the sort of the project. And also, uh, the, you learn the where, the, I'm sorry, <coughs> what can you do with the program and the where can you download them and the, how can you format the input data for each the program. In the second part of the my presentation, the, I will talk about the structure of the program uh, more detail, uh, especially the use of the structure of the software for association mapping of the bacteria spot resistance in tomato. 